so now we are going to discuss something very new about current see uh, have you ever seen fuse bulbs what would you notice or observe in the fuse bulb is that the filament would be broken or melted or in other case there would be a burning black color which might occur anywhere near the filament or at the points from where the bulbs are attached with the holder right now what is this causing heat what exactly is causing heat see that is why we are going to study about heating effect of current so current produces heating effect this is for sure but how i'll tell you it in two ways number one that consider the same example atoms or molecules of the conductor and the electrons which are flowing the free electrons or conduction electrons which are flowing in this wire what happening is what exactly is happening here is these electrons are actually under constant collisions with the atom or molecules of the constituent conductor or with the walls of the conductor right so that collision brings up heat in the conductor so whenever there is a current flow in a conductor there will be heat associated with it heat becomes more as the resistance is more simple more resistance means more number of collisions right so we must also have some formula for heating effect of current see i'll explain you this thing again we know that a cell let me draw a circuit suppose there is a very simple circuit this and a cell this cell provides current provides the flow of current in the circuit but this cell has what chemical energy stored in it the chemical gets depleted due to which it creates a potential difference across its ends and that potential difference of offer the flow of electron so this potential difference which is making the electrons flow from one part to another is coming from what it is coming from the chemical energy stored in the cell so that chemical energy is getting depleted so that energy will also be consumed somewhere so the total energy which is dissipated from one part according to law of conservation of energy will also be get utilized at some other part so what is happening the total energy is actually consumed in two ways the major part is consumed in doing the useful work done for example lightening the bulb switching the fan on or rotating the fan right all these of mechanical works and the rest part of the current is is produced or is wasted in the form of heat so that is what we mean by heating effect of current so let's derive a formula for heating effect what are the formulas do we know till now first of all we know that current is rate of flow of charge total charge is n number number of electrons into electronic charge then we know v is work done upon charge and then we know voltage is current into resistance okay now the energy as it is always associated with work done work is equal to energy so whatever energy is stored in a body it will be equal to the amount of work that can be done by the body or in other words the work performed by a body is stored in terms of energy in the body right so i want to know the value of work done okay so i can do it in terms of power power is rate of doing work work upon time what is work work is potential into charge so it will give me v into q upon t but q upon t is what current so power is v into i this is the formula for power now work done we have a formula for power now v into i so i'll go for the assignments again after some time but right now i'm looking for heating effect which is basically energy so energy or i can write it by u or work done or heat energy as you like it okay so this energy is what power into time okay so what is power power is v into i so this is one of the formula for heat generated in a conductor another formula can be put v equals to ir so i'll get ir into i into t so i'll get i square i square rt not r square this becomes i square rt this is the value of heat generated i can also put i to be equal to v upon r so i'll get v into v upon r times t so this will give me v square upon r into t so we have these three formulas for 
heating effect or the heat generated in a circuit having voltage current, current resistance, voltage resistance, right? Similarly, you can find three values for power. Either it's VI or put V equals to IR, I'll get I square R or put I is equal to V upon R, so I'll get V square upon R. So I also have three formulas for power as well, all right? And this is the power associated and heat generated in a circuit.